Hey guys, I am DC, creator and host of Barside Freaking Jive. Welcome to my daily dose. You guys never get tired of this, do you? <laughs> All right, guys, today is Wednesday, September 11, 2019. And you are witnessing my Siege on Normalcy Tour, day four, zero, 40, 40 days straight, guys. Now let's talk some rock and roll. On this day in 1967, the Beatles began filming Magical Mystery Tour. The hour-long made-for-television movie was their first project after the death of Brian Epstein and was shown on the BBC on December 26, 1967. Uh, they've got everything you need. Roll up for the mystery tour. Satisfaction guaranteed. Roll up for the mystery tour. Yeah, what an album. Okay, guys, moving on, moving on. Janis Joplin. Yeah, I got some Janis Joplin stuff. I got them old cosmic blues again, mama. Came out on this day in 1969. What a freaking year, right? It was Janice's first effort after leaving Big Brother and The Holding Company. Even though Big Brother and The Holding Company were widely popular and successful, you know, they produced a gold certified album, Cheap Thrills, yeah, which is still considered one of the best albums from the band. Janice's stardom soon overshadowed the band and she left within a year to form her own backup group Cosmic Blues Band and launched her solo career. Though they may have been far from technically sound, Big Brother and the Holding Company were in fact the perfect band for a young Janis Joplin to have on her side. And they were. Nevertheless, her departure from the group in December of 1968 seemed inevitable right from the start. She had informed the band of her intentions that summer but stayed to finish the commitments they already had in place. Her final appearance with the band was on December 1 in San Francisco. Less than a month later she had a new band assembled, the Cosmic Blues Band. They also featured guitarist Sam Andrews from Big Brother and the Holding Company who jumped ship with Joplin. <laughs> he said, it was a really stupid decision, but she talked me into it, Andrews told Music Radar in 2012. I wish I'd been stronger and just said no. <laughs> oh, man. So Joplin wasn't happy not only with the musical direction of her former band, but also with the commitment of certain members, or maybe lack thereof. She felt like some of the people in Big Brother weren't working as hard as we were, and that was the truth. She was getting impatient, Andrew said. She wanted to have a soul band. She was getting into that phase. So I went with her. I was curious to see what would happen. Drugs didn't help the story at this point either. When Janice and I left the band, we probably went a little crazy, Andrew recalled. The times in general were just a little bit crazy. Andrew eventually left Cosmic Blues Band as well, claiming that Joplin fired him. The Cosmic Blues Band was a constantly sinking ship. They started throwing things overboard, and I think I was the first large thing to go, said Andrews. All right, guys. So we have gotta wish a happy birthday to Mickey Hart. That's right, Mickey Hart, drummer of the Grateful Dead. That dude was born on this day in 1943. Wow. Guys, today is Patriots Day. 
On this day in 2001, we remember the tragic events of September 11th. Many of our favorite rockers, like Bruce Springsteen, Paul McCartney, Neil Young, they all drew inspiration from that day and created new work. Five weeks later, David Bowie, Bon Jovi, and The Who performed at the concert for New York City to raise money for assorted charities and to honor the victims, the survivors, and the so many heroes that stepped up on that day and in the weeks afterward. And guys, as we remember that fateful day and what those evil, hate-filled, degenerate, low-life, scumbag son of a bitches did on that day, let's remember all those first responders that rushed toward the danger to save lives. And all those totally average, ordinary people that in one freaking instant became heroes because they made the ultimate sacrifice to rescue friends, co-workers, and total strangers. So in memory of all the victims of that fateful day, guys, if you really want to honor them, then reach out on this day, actually every day, and rescue someone. It may be physically, it may be mentally, emotionally, financially, but rescue someone. Be a hero in somebody's life. That's the way you can honor those that died on this day in 2001. Those acts alone can change the world. All right, guys, that's rock and roll, and that wraps my rock history lesson today. <laughs> <laughs> no tears, no tears, because there's more coming at you tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. My Daily Dose comes at you every day, and I'll be back with more history on the classic rock legends. You guys, you guys, you guys, just like now, you can join me as I peel back those pages. I love doing that. Peel back those pages. Peel back those pages. And explore the past, the present, the future of rock legends on my daily dose of rock music. If you guys would like to check out my daily dose archives, all you gotta do is go to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash normal speed bar side jive live and look at the daily dose playlist for mo and please don't let my vibe die so while you're there click that big ass red subscribe button it's big it's red it's just right in front of you and it's free just click it and subscribe do it now. Tell your friends, tell your family. Do it. It's great content. <laughs> my opinion. All right, guys. You can also check out my rock music news on my Thursday evening show at the Vocal Media Studios. This is coming up tomorrow night in North Dallas. Coming at you live and worldwide. 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Both my Tuesday and my Thursday shows are 60 minutes packed full of rock music news and history and visual art via my Art Job Live segment. Music performances by singers, songwriters, and tribute cover musicians. And my tipsy gypsy, Bree Freaking Acres, bringing beverages and tips from behind the bar. So join us at VocalNow.com and it's always vocal with a K. Absolutely with a K. You guys are so freaking smart. Look for the Vocal Live image once you get there. If you're on your phone, if you're on the app, your mobile device, they say, go to the ride of the zoo and fuzz box and you'll see the Vocal Live image. Click on it during the show and you'll go right in. If you're in a browser on your laptop, scroll down, go down below the zoo and fuzz box and click on the Vocal Live image. And there you go, you're in the show. Or just click the link I post 
every freaking show day, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And guys, we are doing a really cool thing now on my Tuesday show. It was so much fun last night. Not only are we featuring a visual artist once per month, but the remaining shows each month will feature artist, legendary artist, Brad freaking Jensen, and my bar side and that jive creative director now, will be taking a deep plunge into the classic rock album covers of the 70s and 80s as we look at the stories behind the art. Hey, I also want to thank Shroomville, Randy, Gavin, David, and Gary for coming out to the studio last night and for, you know, hanging out, chatting, and uh, performing for us via MP3 action. And they also gave me this cool-ass shirt. Cool, huh? Let me do it again. It was very cool. Had a great time with those guys. And uh, hey, and tomorrow night, my show features country music singer songwriter Taylor D. She's freaking awesome. Tune in. Turn on. Tune in. <laughs> it's a good time. Good time, guys. Don't forget to check out my Barside Jive Live Rewind every Sunday. Guys, honestly, thanks in advance for your loves, your likes, your shares, your comments. I'm very blessed to have you aboard and to have you uh, supporting what we got going on here. And you really make this all worthwhile, and um, I appreciate you very much. Be sure to check out my Facebook page, guys, facebook.com forward slash normal speed, Barside Jive Live. My Instagram, at Barside Jive. My website, barsidejive.com. And, of course, my YouTube channel, which I've mentioned at least once, youtube.com forward slash slow mo, Barside Jive Live. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me during my daily dose today. I really appreciate it. Really do. And, as always, remember my bar side jive mantra. It is, we drink sometimes heavily. Sometimes heavily. But we always drink responsibly and don't drink and drive. But guys, keep in mind that you have just one life to live, so let's make it count. Okay? deal all right guys i will see you next time sometime tomorrow i don't know when but sometime tomorrow <laughs> and in the meantime guys peace and love and rock and roll By the way, if you guys did experience some head, neck, or back tingles during this show and have an overwhelming sense of a deep, relaxing feeling, be advised that my content now does contain ASMR. This isn't just a word from the sponsor. It's simply a very good suggestion. It stands for real refreshment. SciJiveLive.com You are feeling the tingles. It is the best time to put the lotion on the skin.